Hey Sagges, so I'm here to do the love readings from the first part of October, so I'll be back doing the generals next week. Uh, these readings will be extended, so you can find that on Instagram, It will be the link will be in my bio, and if you're watching me on YouTube, it will be in the description box below, so if you hit that little V sign, it'll drop down everything, my website, etc, if you want to book in for a one-on-one, -on -one, um, all that jargon. So if you do like the reading, please give me a thumbs up, um, like, share, subscribe, comment, I love the comments. So I'm diving straight in, Sagittarius, I'm trying to get these out, and my poor doggy needs me because she's scared. So Sagis, stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So it's about, you may have been like in a negative thought process recently. It's time to up that game. Oh. Yeah, because what's crossing that energy is your feelings are real and worth exploring. Hmm. Why is this coming around now for Sagittarius? Soulmate. So I don't feel like you're with this person. But I feel like you know who it is. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Why is it coming around soulmate? Yes, this is your soulmate. So you could have someone around you you kind of know is your soulmate. But I feel like you may have lost that hope. So in the recent past we've got trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. I feel like there's more going on to, the, to this than meets the eye. Could have been trust issues. So at present, we've got release the X. The time has come to clear your energy. You know, she's looking exhausted. She looks knackered. <laughs> you know, it's exhausting when you've linked with someone who you end up trauma bonded to or you feel like you need to stay committed there. Especially when you've got this energy, like you've kind of got this soulmate energy coming in, but you're still in that energy of releasing someone so you can't really take it any further with a soulmate because you're still in that energy of releasing so i feel like in the past you've had to have um you've had to put your trust in the divine in the universe you know trusting that things will work out the way you want them to near future past life relationship you've known each other before there's definitely someone from your past but i don't feel like it's in this lifetime you may know them, but it's like there's a strong connection. There's a strong connection with someone. Probably because you've you've spent some kind of like past life energy with this person. And that's why this person feels so familiar. But you look exhausted. Your power gives this relationship a chance. Work on the partnership. Let's have a look. The outside influence. I will be clarifying these. And then when I go into the extent, I'll be going FBI mode. Outside influence. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Someone's trying to control a connection. You could be around a controlling person or take it as it resonates. It could be orange. I'll just say it as it is. But spirit's hope for you is playfulness to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. It's being playful, it's going back to youth. Your outcome is reconciliation, someone from your past is returning into your life. But we do have the soulmate here and we've got the past life. Oh, this is intriguing, Sagittarius. What's going on here? Intriguing. So we've got soulmate energy. We need. To, there's a need to release your ex. There's a need to release to clear your energy in order to make way for a past life return. Someone else just. Someone else got something like that. Aries. So you could be dealing with an Aries. We could have Aries in your chart. If you do have Aries in your chart, check out the reading. Um, but there's something going on here. It's exciting. It's like you're getting yourself ready for this soulmate. 
Stay optimistic. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. The Ten of Cups. So you know what you want. You want the happy family. You want to be able to settle down. Uh, you want to feel emotionally fulfilled. What's crossing that energy is the Four of Cups. A feeling of lack. Like you're not feeling... It's like love is not feeling like you always dreamt it would. And we've got the Two of Wands. Your path's just about to open up. You know, I feel like there's a surprise energy coming in. You know, we do have the stag there and... You know, stag spiritually, you know, it's like a spirit guard following your intuition, following the divine guidance and moving forward. And then we've got a tower moment. So there could have been a breakup. You could have already broke up with this person. Now you're looking back thinking, oh my God, what did I do? That person was a soulmate. We've got the three of swords. So that could be your heart or someone else's. Take it as it resonates. And we've got the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, but we have got the 11-11. So, you weren't feeling as safe and secure as you should have been. But then we've got the 11-11, which is peace, content, and the happy home life. 11-11 is about manifestation. Um, Ace of Pentacles. There could have been a relationship or a, a, a situation um, where that person didn't feel like you were out for them or you know there was some kind of connection some kind of energy but it weren't the right time or it wasn't um safe you know with the ace pentacles in reverse it wasn't a safe time to do it or you know it caused a lot of heartbreak we've got the trust the ten of pentacles I feel like you've been working on yourself, working on your own abundance, trying to get your finances in order. We do have the lovers. We've got the sign of Gemini there as well. But that's like options in love as well. The lovers card was always meant to be an options card. And we've got the ten of swords. So it's like the option. It feels like you could be your own worst enemy sometimes in regards to your finances, in regards to your love life, in regards to your choices. And it's like... Why do I always end up on this cycle? Because there's something that you're not missing. Uh, there's something that you're missing, should I say. Um, the divine will always deliver the, the lesson in a different package until we learn it. And on the Ten of Swords, though, we do have the phone there. The phone is about rebirth, but it looks like you've been at times of, like, despair. That, I'll just say it. Um, you know, like, you feel like, felt like you can't go forward. But that's because of the, there's some kind of connection in the past. It's like more trauma bonds than anything. Release the X. Yeah, justice. Calm it, justice. Do what you know is right. It's time for you to clear that energy. It's time for you to stop feeding something that isn't for you. So we've got the King of Wands. Could be dealing with another face arm. Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. Or oh, this could be you getting back on top of your game. So the, the King of Wands is very motivated, very ambitious, you know. But it is about releasing your ex. It's about releasing someone from the past. The time has come to release that the past person. We do have the Magician in reverse to me. Yeah, the Magician is Aries. But that is manipulation. So there's some form of manipulation and the three of pentacles, something not working out, teamwork makes a dream work. There could have been a third party in the past. There's some form of manipulation. It needs to stop. It needs to end. But your guard's up. It's almost like you don't want to see something. I'll get it on this reading. <laughs> it's okay. I don't mind. It's almost like, but it's it's it, the truth is hard to see and swallow at times. You, you know, that's that. That's life, you know. I'm not here to sugarcoat anything. What I will say is there's some things that you don't want to see. You don't want to deal with. But you're going to have to because you're for, the Four of Pentacles. You're letting go of an old way of thinking. You are going through something in order to let go of it. The past life relationship, the judgment. There's a wake-up call coming for you. The Hermit. San Virgo there, but the Hermit does the inner work. He goes inwards and does the inner work. So you could have been trauma bonded at the past, you know. But you're coming out of that energy now, you're feeling tired and bound to a certain person because that's not a healthy relationship if you feel bound to that person. It is almost like an obsessive energy, uh, but I feel like it's a lifestyle. I don't know why I'm getting a lifestyle. We do have the Eight of Wands. There could have been something you were man manifest on the Lion's Gate, on the Eighth of the Eight, but we've got a lot of things coming in at once, a lot of communication, back and forward. Someone you want to talk to. Oh my God, you've got the eight on top of the eight and the eight. 
888, check out angel number 888. You are ending karmic cycles and it's got it's time to wrap it up because there's recovery there. There's learning lessons. It's karmic things. You know, you've got a past life relationship coming back in. Um, you've got a soulmate energy, but you've got to wrap up the karmic stuff. Devil in reverse. Coming out of toxic energies, coming out of toxic ways of living, you know, coming away from toxic people. Could be only a Capricorn. Your power, give this relationship a chance. We've got the Knight of Wands in reverse. That's flighty energy. Someone who's scared in and out. That could be your energy, that could be the other person's. But your energy is to kind of not be as flighty. It's to make a decision. Let go of control issues. We've got the King of Pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy there. But it's about feeling steady and safe and secure. The, the, the outside influence wants that. There's been a lot of drama. There's been a lot of arguments in the past. Oh, where's my mate? So there's been drama with all this chaos. But after the drama, the sun comes out. You know, it's almost like I've had my wake-up call. The blindfold will be... It's like you're ripping a plaster off. Just rip it off. See if what it really is. Because then we've got reconciliation as your outcome. And the death card, something's not over. Is that in this life or a past life? It's past life, I feel. King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. You've got to trust your emotions, but I feel like that's you getting on top of your emotions, meeting up with someone who's emotionally invested. Could be going towards a water sound. We've got Cancer here now, but it's about positive movement forward within your love life. Cards are flying all over the place. <laughs> Five of Cups in reverse. No more looking back. Don't look back in anger. <laughs> Sound like the Oasis. Um, if you don't know who Oasis is, it's banned. Uh, we've got the Five of Cups in reverse. No regrets because you finally found your Two of Cups. And it's coming in. The star. Aquarius. But the the star is blessings being granted, you know. And I feel like you're going to see a blessing. There's a blessing in disguise here. Once you realise what you need to let go of, rip the bandage off, it opens you up to something whole brand new. You know, something's majorly changing. So... I hope that helps and gets to whoever needs it. If this is where I'll leave you, I'll leave you with love and light. And if I see you on the extenders, I'm heading over there now. Bye.